I have to be honest with myself and I have to own and I have to be honest with everybody out here. I wanted to come on here because, well, first of all, we're fans of the show. We've watched it for years. Um, I am here because I want to be sober. I want to be a better husband. I want to be a better father. I want to be a better friend. And I'm, I'm, I sat there and watched and it was, it was surreal. But at the same time, it was very real because I do see that she's making excuses for me. And I think it's because she loves me. Uh, but well, like you say, if two out of three me, of us <laughs> see it. <laughs> I'm receptive to the it. The bigger boys not, see it, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. You know, I'm not um, trying to mother him. I'm not trying to make excuses for him. I just, my only thing is just that I want him to get the mental health help that he needs. You didn't say but. I didn't. <laughs> you didn't. I love that. <laughs> Give me some. Okay. Help. <laughs> okay. I've never been a rock star. And so, uh, you You're know, I'm a rock star. I, well, I've got, well, I've got a, <laughs> I've got, uh, I, 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 I'm like David and the jerk. <laughs> um, I do have a son that's a musician, and he's um, lives on the road a lot, and um, I, I know what that life is like, um, but. I also know that behind all of that, what looks glamorous is a lot of hard work and a lot of long days and, and nights. I want to talk to you about something I talk about from time to time called personal truth. We all have a personal truth. Everybody does. You do, you do, you do, I do, you do. And your personal truth is important because it is whatever it is that you, at the absolute uncensored core of your being, have come to believe about you. And personal truth is important because we generate the results in life that we believe we deserve. You don't take care of yourself physically. You don't require enough of yourself because you're generating results that you think you deserve. And unless you fix that, you're never going to fix all of this. They were top of the charts in the 90s. But now, he'd show up to a show wasted. I'm an alcoholic. Color Me Bad's lead singer, Brian grabbed me and just threw me. Has hit bottom of the bottle. You attacked your bandmate, Mark. He shoves me to the ground. He goes to TMZ and calls me a monster. So you're the victim in this. This guy, he will manipulate you in a heartbeat. All new Dr. Phil. 